What is going on Raider Nation? I'm just going to make a quick take video on the game. Some of you have been waiting for me to preview a video and do, you know, talk about them a little bit more. Well, okay, I will talk pre-game. That's hate week thing I don't do. Sorry, it's not my thing. So, the Raiders go into Kansas City on a short week. Coming off a big, big win streak and suddenly you think, okay, the division is on the line. This is the biggest game that they've had both. Well, I guess you could see every game that was the biggest game they've had since 2002. It's been a very long time. So what happens now? Well, the Raiders are going to have to deal with a lot of things. <laughs> see, in short, the Chiefs have been very, very lucky, or they're getting every break to go their way. It just tells the Raiders that they can't afford to make a lot of critical mistakes. Okay, that's the biggest thing. Secondary, that's a unit I still don't trust. The defense, I mean... Perry Riley's average to below average. He's not great. They, they couldn't stop the run. Like, when you saw the game against Buffalo, like, they couldn't stop the run. Maybe if the Bills ran the ball better, but they, they could not stop the run in some parts of the game. That was awful. So, yeah, the Chiefs, they ran the ball down the Raiders' throats last time they saw them. Uh, yeah, you hope you learn from it. The other thing that this is an even, unlike last time, the Chiefs had, what, 14 days to prepare for the Raiders? The, this both teams are pretty even. They get you know they're coming off what three days rest and they're going into KC and they get to get to go face each other. That classic rivalry game. I mean this is good for the NFL too because I always say and people who watch my videos know what I'm talking about. That this is the real rivalry of the AFC West. <laughs> Anyone who tries to bring up Denver, no, Denver was a bunch of garbage in the AFL days. It was always Raiders versus Chiefs. Chargers had one AFL title. The Broncos had a little bit of success, but the no, Raiders Chiefs were the top of the AFL during the 1960s. So anyone who appreciates real rivalries, yes, this is the actual rivalry of the hated Chiefs. So, <clears throat> you know, Andy Reid, he's good for the regular season. you got to be able to watch out for any breaks. Uh, Carr, you know, you're going to bring up his 13-0 touchdown interception ratio. That's fine. Though he did get that one break and in, in against Denver, that one that thankfully was a drop. That was a close call. But outside of that, are the Raiders one-dimensional? That's a big question as, as coming into this. <clears throat> we don't know because they, they took all the snaps from the pistol. I, I like it when you're under center and you have a lead blocker and all that. I don't know. I mean, the short yardage snap situation gets affected by Derek Carr's pinky. The, the one thing I will say is he backed up his talk when he said he's fine because he was able to throw, for the most part, he was able to throw okay against Buffalo. So I, I'll give credit where credit's due there. But is it fine enough that he could call any play you want? We don't know. Can they run the ball? I love it if they're able to run the ball down their throats the way that the Broncos the game was. If they're able to run the ball, then they have a very good chance to win. But if they can and they're one-dimensional, they're going to lose. You just can't ask Derek Carr to carry every game and throw, 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 or else they're going to be figured out and all that. Like I said, the Chiefs get all the breaks to go their way. They had that interception it was against the Falcons. They had two interceptions that were important. One was a pick six. The other was a two-point conversion the other way. And then, of course, against Denver, that they hung in there. Their defense kept it close, and then they found a way to win with a late comeback thanks to that was Alex Smith and then the two-point conversion. So you can't give them a chance. They always get the breaks. And all those little breaks, whether it's one missed tackle, one drop, one the blown coverage, they can't give up any of that. That's going to be the biggest thing is just mentally be, it, be there. The good thing is the Raiders are actually the underdog. They're playing. Some people will say the Raiders are playing with house money because they're going out to Kansas City. I think this will be the first time they're the underdogs in Vegas for quite a while. That's fine. <clears throat> so they got to play with the chip on their shoulder. Uh, Alden Smith, by the way, NFL, y'all can at least do better at handling the Alden Smith situation. Uh, not handy. Not help, helpful that they're just stalling. I would prefer, you know, make a decision one way or another. If you suspend them the whole year, okay. If you don't, then reinstate them. This, this stalling is annoying, okay? And one thing I will say about Alden Smith, you know, the, the week he comes back, do not expect him to just make instant impact and think he's the guy that he was with his previous team. It's going to take a couple weeks. Just 
I mean, when you're suspended, you can't even communicate much with the coaches, if, if I remember correctly. You can only practice and work out in the gym. Uh, the suspension takes, so he doesn't really get to look at the playbook, get to practice with the team and all that. So, really, he needs at least two to three weeks before he's really ready and can say he's at full form. I mean, when he came off the nine-game suspension with his previous team, he was, he was rusty. That 2014 year, he didn't look like anything the way he was in, in 2012 or even parts of 2013. He just wasn't that guy. So, yeah, he can be a great pass rusher if, if he's healthy and he's able to, to show that he's not too rusty. But I expect rust the first game he's back, whether it's Thursday or another game after that. But NFL, please make a decision. Okay? <clears throat> I'm really annoyed. <clears throat> <clears throat> at all these the things where they're, they're just stalling and taking forever. So there, there's that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Khalil Mack, defensive MVP, Derek Carr, offensive MVP, but I, I'll, I'll reaffirm what I said. Derek Carr should be in the MVP conversation as a whole because the way that Buffalo game was, the defense was getting owned. And once Carr sparked some life into the team, the defense was feeding off of that, and they were able to get three and outs and stops. I don't know where that magic came from, but Derek Carr, it just shows how valuable he is when the defense stepped it up after Carr was scoring. I will still stand by that. So what happens now? Well, as I said, Chiefs, they're expected to be the favorite. I'm going to stand by what I said coming into the season, that I said the Chiefs had a good chance of winning the division. I thought they were the best team for the now. But the Raiders, you know, the best thing long-term, guys, there's optimism. Plenty of reason for optimism long-term let alone this year alone. Uh, you know, this team is, you could arguably, a year earlier than expected. They're still young, <clears throat> but they're interesting. That offensive line, you hope that they can wear down the Chiefs line. Uh, that, I mean, the yeah, offensive line is always a key, but this is a game where I don't have the highest of expectations in the world. I think, I think they can compete. I think they can hang in there, but... I, I do think the Chiefs are the favorite team, and the Raiders just can't afford to make these big mistakes. I, I think there's going to be a couple on defense, especially, that's going to happen. But we'll see. You know, you hope that this is the any given Sunday, or in this case Thursday, type of mentality, and they're playing with some underdog mentality, because that's what they should be coming into this. Let me know what y'all think about this game. And, by the way, also, rest in peace to the many lost in that fire. Awful news. Uh, I knew some people that were near the area. Thank thankfully, they, they weren't in that exact uh, building or that party, but I know that they weren't too far away, so they saw the fire. But yeah, hopefully those, those in the fire, uh, rest in peace to those who were lost, and pray, thoughts and prayers go to those families out there. So. Let me know what you all think. Raiders, lot, big game on the line. Uh, I do want to just inform you all that my postseason, my post-game video might be the day late, so... Don't expect me to get it up, like, you know, 30 minutes after the game, even the same night. I might have to take the next morning and, and talk about it. So, I'll see you, see you guys later. Go Raiders.